Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video I kind of want to just do a my thoughts um, video on the new update basically just the flashpoint itself what happened I just I kind of had some things I wanted to discuss with you guys about it and I wanted to hear what you guys thought about it because there was some very interesting stuff that went down uh, but also uh, just kind of in general like with patch 5.4 I sat down this morning and I was like you know okay let's make some videos and I realized that there actually aren't very many videos to make I mean I was looking forward to doing the pack opening video but now we're gonna have to wait till next Tuesday because that's probably when the pack's gonna be released uh, it's not available right now and the second thing was uh, it's quite interesting we can't actually get access to the stronghold I mean you can farm the Alliance recon data needed to buy the key but the weekly cap is 50 and it costs 60 to get the stronghold so basically you need to wait until until Tuesday when they reset the weekly cap so you can go ahead and farm the last 10 pieces of data and then you will be able to buy the stronghold. So I can't do a stronghold tour or show off the stronghold or anything which is really unfortunate and that's just a stupid thing in general. A lot of people are really angry about this because uh, they hyped up the stronghold so much you know they said go play the flashpoint farm the currency and get the stronghold but now it's like we have to wait an entire week to get the stronghold which is really just stupid. So GG Bioware on that one, they kind of failed. Um, and then, uh, yeah, aside from that, you know, I did I posted some cutscene videos because that's really all I can do at this point. Uh, I, most of you guys have already gone and played the Flashpoint, so there's no point in doing an entire Flashpoint video. Uh, the cutscenes were just, you know, for example, if you played a dark side character and you want to know what the light side said or, or the opposite way around, then you can go ahead and see that. Um, but yeah, so I thought, you know, in the fact that we didn't have a video, uh, I thought I would rather just sit down and kind of make this video regarding the Flashpoint itself. So obviously, guys, spoiler alert, uh, I'm going to obviously talk about what happened in the Flashpoint um, and my theories on, the on you know, what's coming in the future story and stuff. So if you haven't played through the Flashpoint, make sure you go ahead and do it before you watch this video. But let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is obviously the data mine information was correct. There was a little bit of speculation on this. Some people thought that Bioware put in the false information to throw us off the scent. Other people think there's still more to the story but the bottom line is Theron Sean is the person who did indeed betray our alliance all of the data mine dialogue was also correct so his motivations seem to be that he's against the alliance because of all the uprisings that are happening because of all the war that it has spurred and all the death and destruction it has caused and so for that reason he's going against us as a commander regardless of whether we're dark side or light side I mean if you're dark side he basically just against you because you're an evil person if you're a light side uh, even if you romance him and stuff he's like you know I still like you as a person uh, uh, but I just against the alliance in general and I need to take you guys down for that and I think right now we can quickly jump into a little bit of a theory that actually quite a lot of people have which is Theron Sean is a double agent so he hasn't really betrayed the alliance but as you see at the end of the uh, flashpoint there's a mysterious figure that he's talking to on the, holo uh, on the holocom which says you know welcome to the order and stuff so no one really knows what order that is um, it could be the order of uh, the Scions, which is probably the most you know probable thing. Uh, Bioware isn't known for their creativity when it comes to story content. I mean, just look at the Gemini deception, right? In that one, we also had a uh, traitor who's going to betray the Alliance. And everyone kind of expected it to be Scorpio because it, the chapter is literally called the Gemini deception. And Gemini is the class of George that Scorpio is from. But then so many people were like, no, that's way too obvious. Bioware is not going to go for that. And then lo and behold, Scorpio turned out to be the betrayer. So, uh, you know, so Bioware isn't really known for their creativity. So it's very, uh, you know, probable that there's going to be the order of the Scions because also it was Scion clothing that was, that some traitor or some uh, secret person was using in the war for Iocath. And so a lot of people had theorized that uh, the Scions were the betrayers. But now it turns out Theron Sean is, but he could have been working with the Scions and that might as well be the leader of the Scions who is saying, you know, welcome to the order of the Scions. So why... Uh, regardless of whether it's the Order of the Scions, it could also be like the Order of Revan. Some people had that theory. I saw that prop up a few times because people were saying like, you know, that was obviously when uh, Theron Chan was introduced into the story with the whole Shadow of Revan story. And so maybe Theron realized that the, the Revanites were still active. There was still an, a secret order underground. And so he wanted to infiltrate it. And so he did it doing this way. So the bottom line is some people are saying he's a double agent. It didn't seem really right that he would go and join an order or something. So, um... For those of you who really didn't like the fact that Theron betrayed you, you want him to come back, you want him to join your alliance again, especially if you romanced him or something, uh, there is still hope for you that he might still be on your side and he's just doing this to, uh, to save the galaxy. But there's also and, you know, another side of the story that maybe he has been kind of brainwashed by this group and they're saying, you know, we'll bring peace and we'll make sure no one dies or something like that. Um, 
So of course, let me know what your guys' theory is in the comments. You know, I, I loved hearing or uh, reading the stuff that was uh, on Reddit and, and, uh, and other forums. And so I'd love to, you know, hear what your guys' thoughts are on that. But another thing I wanted to quickly talk about was uh, there was a very funny scene. And just this is just kind of bugging me. So in the uh, Flashpoint itself, when Theron just initially betrays you, he shoots a little thing and a red door appears. And so you can't really get through it. But uh, if you're a Sith character, I don't know if this happened if you're a Jedi, but if you're a Sith character, you kind of force choke Theron and you're like, I can kill you in an instant. And then he doesn't kill him. Like, it just made absolutely no sense to me. Because, you know, on one hand, like, he says, I don't want, I'm not going to kill you right now because I want to hear why you betrayed me. But then after Theron tells him why he betrayed him, you know, your character just kind of lets him leave and run away. And that made, like, absolutely no sense to me story-wise. This guy's just betrayed you. And you just told him you could kill him. You sh visibly force choked him. You could have easily, you know, broken his leg or something to stop him from running and then asked him why he betrayed you and then finished him off at the end. Like, there were just so many things in that scene that didn't make any sense to me. And I think it's baffled a lot of people. And to me, that was just terrible, terrible storytelling. Like, that is just something I can't really get over when it comes to the story. I mean, you're this crazy Sith character who's apparently, you know, the Emperor's Wrath, or if you're the Sith Inquisitor, you've gained all these crazy-ass Sith powers. And um, apparently like a, a Republic spy who has absolutely no force powers is able to just run away. And what even threw me off, the, off guard even more was the fact that you actually force choked him for four seconds, showing that you did have the power to like hurt him or, or stop him from getting away, and then you didn't do it afterward. So just in my opinion, that was really, really stupid on the part of whoever wrote that scene. And it's just been bugging me. And I bet it bugged a lot of you guys too. I mean, it made absolutely no sense. It was a little bit better, I saw, if you were like an Imperial agent or something, because obviously you have no force power, so you can't get through the door. You can't shoot a blaster or anything. But if you're Sith or Jedi, you could use the force. But, of course, Theron Chan gets away. He does also escape at the end of the Flashpoint. He's told that he now joins the Order, and he's shown jumping off into hyperspace, which means they're going to continue the story. And that's one thing I actually was really not looking forward to with this expansion. I was kind of hoping that I knew they were going to reveal the traitor. I was actually uh, kind of hoping they were going to allow us to, like, end the story, kill the traitor or whatever, and move on to a different story. Because, you know, we're not sure at this point if we're getting another expansion or what's happening with the future of Swotar. Uh, there's been no expansion announcement, so a lot of people are saying, we won't see an expansion this year but we'll see one next year probably and I'm just wondering like you know what's the continuation of the story I'm getting really sick of this whole alliance stuff uh, of this whole story arc with these characters or companions I don't really care about like I don't really care if Lana or Theron does this or that or all these other people that they've introduced I kind of want to go back to that original story of Empire vs. Republic. I want something more to do with the whole Sith and Jedi and the traditional conflict rather than these kind of new things that they're creating. And uh, I was kind of hoping for a return to that, but it does seem as though they are going to continue the story. Theron, when he's leaving on his big ship, uh, he says, you know, this is just the beginning. And I'm like, damn, I, I don't want this to be just the beginning. You know, I don't want a whole, oh, Theron Sean storyline and he's doing this and that or whatever. But the one thing that did intrigue me is, you know, who are these mysterious Order people? I really don't want to be the Order of the Scions. I'm really hoping Bioware, the writers, will come up with something a little bit more creative than that. But, uh, of course, we'll have to see in the future. And I'm really hoping that we won't, like, see more Flashpoints. Like, I'd rather have a single-player story than just having these Flashpoints over and over again. Um, but, yeah, I'm really hoping also we'll see a future expansion. I mean, it's really up in the air. We're getting a new roadmap in a few weeks. Apparently, Keith is going to write up a new roadmap, and hopefully that will outline the future of what we're getting. Apparently, we're also supposed to be getting a new war zone uh, before December and some other stuff. So we're probably going to get some info information on the progress of that. And then, of course, the continuation of the story and how it's going to happen. I mean, think about it. How many months did we wait for one Flashpoint? This Flashpoint had about maybe 15 minutes worth of story cutscenes, and aside from that, like an hour worth of gameplay. Like, that's all we got after so many months. It, it just kind of pisses me off, you know? That's what I was saying at the start of this video. Like, I sat down, and I'm like, there's actually no videos to make. Like, there's nothing I can do with this, uh, this patch. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping that we'll see a lot more new content in the future. Of course, Keith has just arrived. And, you know, from what I can tell, he's kind of fixing a lot of stuff. He's making it a little bit better. I'm a little bit more confident knowing he's at the helm right now. And I'm just hoping that, you know, his roadmaps and uh, what we're getting in the future is going to be enough to compensate for this. But just in general, I don't know if you can tell, I'm kind of unhappy with this patch. I don't think the story was particularly good. It was just a few, like those moments, like uh, what I talked about earlier with him choking Theron John. Like those moments just kind of ruined it for me. Um... 
And then of course there was a huge lack of content and a lack of things to do. I mean, I finished doing what I wanted to do with this patch in the first two hours of playing. I played the Flashpoint, I went and got the PV ranked PvP decorations, uh, you know, went and did a few other stuff and then I'm like, okay, there's nothing else left to do. So it's just kind of unfortunate and uh, hoping for more. Of course, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That was the whole point of doing this video. Sorry for rambling or ranting on, but you know, that's kind of what the point of this was, just to let you guys know what I thought and then of course to hear what you guys think back uh, so we can have that kind of dialogue. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.